Tonight, the CDC says it has evidence of a dangerous fungus that in some cases is untreatable. Nothing more than that. It is linked to two deaths, in fact, and two North Texas hospitals have seen the fungus spread. Our Brooke Katz looking into it tonight for us. She's in the CBS in uh, DFW studio with some more information on this. What do you know, Brooke? And, Doug, the cases were first seen back in January. The CDC told the Associated Press the outbreak is ongoing and additional infections have been identified since April. The fungus, Candida auris, was identified in a cluster of 22 patients in two Dallas area hospitals. Health officials have not released the names of the facilities. Candida is a yeast that can cause infection if it gets into parts of the body where it doesn't belong, like the bloodstream, heart, or brain. It's usually treated with antifungal medicine, but experts say widespread overuse of those medications created Candida auris. It's known to spread quickly from room to room on people and clothing. It's something health officials have been concerned about for years. Back in 2019, specialists with the CDC started calling for stronger measures to detect and prevent these sorts of infections. It has the unfortunate capacity of being very, very resistant to some of our antifungals, and it also has a capacity to contaminate the environment and persist in the environment. So it's kind of a double whammy in the infection control world. Of the 22 Texas patients, two appeared to be fully resistant to treatment. Both patients died. They are the first cases of the kind in the state. The CDC's website says cases of Candida auris have been increasing during the pandemic with outbreaks reported in COVID-19 units of acute care hospitals. They say the outbreaks could be related to changes in routine infection control practices. The CDC says people who get serious infections are usually already sick and hospitalized with other conditions. More than one in three patients with Candida auris die. Experts recommend you don't be afraid to ask a hospital about their infection control protocols. And most importantly, keep your eyes open and make sure personnel wash their hands each time they enter the room or touch objects that could be contaminated. Doug? Always makes sense to be your own best advocate when you can. Thank you, Brooke.